We were coming off a big victory in Las Vegas, and I was willing to do anything to make sure we got that win. We lost the best players, Rudy, Riggs, Patrick Sharp. Merles, welcome to the club. Adam, welcome to the club. Avery, welcome to the club. The intensity was high. I'm old as shit now. My best athletic days are behind me. I believe we're undefeated in games. Let's smoke cigarettes in. The boys are all fired up. Oh, we're going to do this. We got this. And we got dusted. I got no gas. You got your ass just fucking whipped. I'm about to puke. What's up, boys? Good to see you. What's up, my man? Two games in with 0-2. It's been a disaster so far in my coaching career. It is what it is, man. We, we just got to get a W at this point. I don't think we're going to win the division, but there's only one way to go, and that is up. Or down if you have this beer. You guys are all fucking nerds. <laughs> I zip it, zip it. When you were a young boy in your crib, your father looked at you and said, someday my son is gonna be a man. Well, if he could see you now, you just got your asses whipped by a bunch of goddamn Zubaz. Zubaz! You lost to a team of fucking Zubaz! What the fuck was that? Disgusting! I wanna see you next game. I would redeem myself and ask my lord, my maker, and my team. I'll see you in the next fucking game. Out of my way. Fuck that shit. There's never been a time that RA has talked to the team where I actively have tried to listen because I know that it's gonna put me in a mental blender every time. RA, great guy, not a great roller hockey coach. I think there's one common denominator here as the problem. Should we fire him? I, I think we can his ass tomorrow. <laughs> I think everybody was looking in the mirror and when they looked in the mirror, they decided it wasn't my fault, it was the coach's fault. So we got rid of RA. It was a pretty quick decision after that. We had Frankie, go inform the coach on the news. I was actually excited about R.A. being the fill-in. Little did I know he'd end up being the worst coach of all time. They're a bunch of pussies and they decide to mutiny after two games, so what are you gonna do? If you're playing this poorly, it's like just crush a bunch of pink wit, we get the bat, and then we just get waffled and it loosens everyone up, and it can't get any worse. Who needs one, anyone, anyone else need one? Abs does. <laughs> Jesus, Adam, is that really what you like? <laughs> We saw him with his shirt off and everybody just started feeling bad about them. I know I did, because I'm a fat shit. I'm not for taking my shirt off ever again. I can fucking see this guy. He does not have the dad bod that the rest of the team has. He's like a Greek god. So listen, when you're as bad as you are, there's nothing left to do but enjoy yourself, have some drinks, and let's loosen up for five hours from now. Oh, right. cheers, oh, cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. Let's go. Donnie, great job. No coach game three, must win or else you don't make the playoffs. Just get to the playoffs, baby, and anything happens. We were running on fumes. We were not that optimistic. If we win that game, our playoff hopes are still alive. We're skating around warm-ups and I see RA come in with a uh, bucket, blue lights. I'm a free agent coach now. Self-medication, a little, little bats, a little pink witty, and I'm gonna heckle the shit out of them. Come on, Jordy, do something, will ya? Do something, will ya? We gotta win this game though, really rub it in on them. We haven't had hecklers all week and now we get the worst coach in Team Barstool history sitting there chirping his ex-guys. Ah, do something, Dallin, will ya, you bum? Fight him, Put the cigarette down and skate. Bros, one on you. I don't know what I didn't hear a fucking word he said. I heard his voice. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait to leave him out to dry. Wait to leave him out to dry again, Dallin. Oh, Shaka, Dallin's coming off. Shaka. Chief, you need some Adderall? Chief, wake up. There we go, boys. <laughs> Come on, Borelli, do something, will ya? Come on, Borelli, you bum. I mean, his voice is just so raspy and disgusting at this point in the day, you couldn't even tell. I honestly just had to worry about not throwing up. Make me some garlic bread, will ya, Frankie? Do something. He's shit face screaming at us again, just absolutely ripping into every single thing we're doing. Every stride we take, he has a comment about it. Come on, Jordy, do something, Jordy, one time. 
Guys are getting worked. Yeah, yeah, nice. Sick D. Yeah, way to go. Nice poke check. Yeah, nice job, Reg Dunlop. What I tell you? Can't stay on the ice after a dash two. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Yeah, I mean, they got a couple guys that are flying. They're so, you can see, they're all. Yeah, save, save it, Pirelli. Save it, Pirelli. We run the tournament and we put Donnie in the fucking sun. Motherfucking kid can't see a goddamn thing out there. Do something, will you, Avery? Do something once today. One time for me. Sick D, sick D. Yeah, way to go. Wow, how you not beating this team? How you not beating this team? Way to go, guys. Way to give up the D. It's a tight game, and the last thing you need is this guy fucking yapping. Oh, Donnie! Just fucking yapping at the boys. You can tell there's a little bit of a grudge there. Hey, hey, here you go. Yeah, whatever. Good job, player coach. You stink. Hey, where to land the body, Merles? We were fighting for that win, and guys were getting physical to the point that Merle just absolutely lit up Feidelberg. Like, biggest collision of the weekend, it was quite the hit. Oh, what Wait, a play! Way to step up, G! Way to step up, G! Hey, where the bag? Yeah, middle. I feel good. The team should feel like shit because they played horrible, but I, f I feel great, to be honest. Uh oh, big boomer here. Watch out. Oh, this kid can snipe. Yeah, he's a guy. We gotta watch him. He's a shooter. But the sun was in my eyes. Those two games took a lot out. This is tough, yeah, this is tough. I mean, just look at that dickhead we were at, loving it in the stands. Fucking 6-3 after one. Yeah, good job, Merles. Remember signing the glass here on RA? Get one, get two, get three, all about momentum. Merles is a natural, he knows what it means to be a hockey player. He ran our bench and ran the other team's show and made a lot of plays out there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Avery's gonna touch it. Puck's gonna blow up. Puck's about to blow up. Avery's touching it. Come on, Avery. Yeah! Come on, Avery, go, boy! Only took you fucking three games. I think that's the most fired up I've ever been in my hockey career. I, I, I was just ready to go. Ah, oh, Frankie. Sick cherry pick. Yeah, once again. A defenseman has never spent more time in front of the other team's goal. Jesus cherry picking out there. Play. And then sit on the bench and serve. Wow, you guys are just hemmed in. Hemmed in. You guys stink. You guys stink. I'm just so awkward, That's just bad game awareness. Here we go, boys. Cut your hair, Grinelli. Cut your hair. We need to hear it's gotta be Adam. Uh, right here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Goal, 7-7. Seven, seven. How about Adam joining the squad? Yes. No way. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Alright, all right, memes. What happened to the Frankie Borelli from Vegas? You stink right now, Borelli. Oh. Yeah, all right. Good, good bit, Frank. Good bit. No. Yeah. Let's go, Borelli. Big penalty shot. We're down one goal with a minute and 30 seconds left. I haven't scored yet the whole entire tournament. I'm the captain. I have to make this happen. We battle back. We, we, we make it a ball game. And then what do you know? Captain Borelli has a penalty shot to tie the game. Everything was leading up to this moment. If Frankie Borelli scores this goal, we are winning this game. I wouldn't worry about it. He's done nothing all day. He beat the man. And he did it, and he failed again. Sick job, pasta boy. And then I had the opening. Had I been a better hockey player, I would have been able to slip it in there. I'm not a better hockey player. I fucking missed the opportunity. Yeah, sick job, sick job. Sick coach. Sick coach, five on four, you got Avery on the bench. Sick call, sick call, Merles. Good job, boys, psych. The clock ticked down to zero and we ended up losing. And at that point, everybody was done. I mean, down 0-3, it was the most deflating thing of all time. We battled all the way back and we just couldn't get that next goal to get on top. I'm not a hockey player, <laughs> you know? 
Oh, just as simple as that. That fucking guy up there, he got the fucking last laugh. Look at him. Fuck. We went down 0 3, so what are you gonna do? You're gonna get just fucked up that night. People in the back, come on, we're trying to party out. Pink Whitney party was fucking awesome. Dante, Boston Levi, both crushed it. It's nice to go into the night knowing that whatever happens tomorrow, we're still out of the playoffs. Because then the boys could really enjoy that Pink Whitney concert, and we were able to. We showed up the next day, I was definitely hungover, but it was a perfect way to forget what happened the day before. A little hungover, equipment still wet. We weren't feeling the best. Boys, I only wear pants. In a crazy turn of events, uh, RA will be coaching the team that we are playing today. Oh, nice. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna win one. A uh, team from uh, Maryland called the Power Bottoms decided they wanted the rear admiral to coach the Power Bottoms, so I thought it was a match made in heaven, quite frankly, and I said, let's make this shit happen. I signed the contract, and we're gonna take on my old team. When he was in the stands, that was one thing. When he's behind the bench coaching the other team to try and beat us, we were not losing that game. We needed some luck on our side, boys. It's been a tough uh, tough trip so far, but we got pretty lucky here. Now. He's gonna coach the other team, so. Worst coach in the league. Oh, let's get a win. Yeah, let's go. We got an even one. We're all dead, our brains have nothing left. But I think I think a W is what will happen here. So we end up staying out till 3, 4 in the morning. And then this game, we come around hungover, still drinking. Feidelberg and I were ripping nips in the morning. You go into a, a tournament, you start 0-3. All you can do at that point is just crush some little bats, crush some pink wit. Get fucking buckled. All right, Jimmy, Ricky, Bobby, Murph, Sully, Donnie, Demi, Donnie. <laughs> These guys stink. They're easy to beat. Like I said, just go after Avery every time he's on the ice. Their defense stinks. Just win in. Watch out for Murley and watch out for Rosie, the guy with no number, the top one. But other than that, they kind of stay good. I keep an eye on him too, but the rest of them, they're easy. Except for the goalie. Otherwise, let's get a W. Right, let's go. Go. How about him, baby? Yeah, we got to give our ADL. Yeah, boys, we got to we gotta fucking pummel him. Fuck here, him. Huh? Look at this fucking scumbag sell out. Let's go, boys. Let's get a W. Oh, Fred, out of the way. Oh, let's go, Orange. Let's go, Orange. Pick it up, pick it up. Benedict Arnold, Kevin Durant, Rear Admiral, the biggest traders on planet Earth. Ricky, skate, Ricky, skate. Skate, Ricky. All you, buddy. All you, 12. Yeah. Damn it. Come on, 98. Let's go, Ricky. Oh. What do you say, Donnie? I was huffing and puffing. Don't fall on your face. Don't throw up in front of all these people. Don't make an asshole of yourself. Take it right to Zaretsky. Take it right to Avery. Oh. We got a game here, all right? Yeah, we do. You know, a few minutes in, 0 0. Defensive slugfest. Looks like two very tired, hungover teams. But we expect to date through the Chicklets Cup. Here you go. There you go. Come on, Savage. You got it, buddy. Yep. Okay. These guys. Oh. What a dig. That's a 9 1. That's a 9 1. Who the fuck are you guys 0 3? Slinging the puck around like this. Yeah. It's because you're still drunk, eh? Don't talk to my team. Don't talk to my team. <laughs> talk to your own team. Coach them. You're in the goalie set already. Donnie's acting a little crazy, and then you the goalie uses it. Uh oh. Uh, it's, a lot. it's dark out there. Save it, G. Save it. But, and I'm sweating already after the first shift. This guy's flying. Georgia. Georgia. That's it, boys. That's it, boys. Just keep grinding on that team, man. They stink. Obviously not the way you want to start the final game. So I did what any former captain would do. I'd put the team on my back. Oh. Uh -oh. oh yeah. Just send it. Yep. All right. That's cool. There you go, T. Watch it. Yeah. Let's go, T. There you go. That's one. Hey, Borelli, are you gonna do something or what? Sorry, 
Pirelli, where are you? He's on you, he's on you. Come on, Dave. Dave's a killer. Help, help. Kill help, help. Uh oh, don't, don't worry about him. He's not going to do anything. Sorry. <laughs> ah. Wow. Uh, go by Jordy, assisted by Avery. Barstow Sportsbook wouldn't even put that prop out there because the odds are too high. Tastes like cigarettes. Oh shit, nice luck, nice luck. Oh shit, oh shit. Ah, uh, Feidelberg. Feidelberg with the cigarette in his mouth, dangling. Oh, Tendu with another big one. Nice save, buddy. Pick him up now, pick him up now. All right, come on, Norm, come on, Cliffy, what do you say? Sam, Diane, come on now. Oh, come on, boys, let's go. Eight seconds, eight seconds, eight seconds. Five, two, three. Take it wide. Come on, one, five. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Shit. No, 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 no. Ah, shit, that whistle was first. Got to set call like we started. Just got to get some more shots off, really. Good job, Tendi. I'll draw, unreal job, buddy, for real. I'll draw, I'll, unreal stuff. Yeah. Boys, I, I, we got to more shots, really. I know it's tough. I know we're under man, but any shot you can get, just try to get a rebound out front. I, he, he gives up a show every once in a while, too, but just a few more shots. But we're doing a great job. Look at it. They had healthy scratches today. We got fucking six guys here, so. But like we are doing. Meantime, here's the first half. Let's do another one with the second. Let's go, boys. We fucking need a W here, boys. Empty the tank here. Everything we got, 15 minutes. We knew at that point that we had to get that win. Otherwise, we'd hear about it for the next four years. All right, come on, boys. Let's go, Orange. Let's get this right there for us. Let's go, here early. Chief. Oh, fuck. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. Hey, chip one in RA's face, G. There you go, there you go, 86. Put one in RA's teeth, G. Oh, come on, Dallin. Wait, you, you bum. Oh, shit. Oh, blow a tire. Blow a tire. There we go. Come on. Oh, shit. Another one. Oh, it's like Yo. a keystone pop. Oh, he's got this now. Oh. He's got to bury this. And totally redeem yourself. Yeah, G. I mean, G showed up. G was hung over. I think he might have had a Whitney or two before the game. Uh, try and stave that off. I guess maybe RA wasn't completely wrong in trying to name him captain because G carried us. One on. Ah, shit. Try right, shake it up. Shake it up, Sevens. Uh, hey, hey, hey. That's a gift. Yeah, that's a tough one. Tough one. Shake it off. Shake it off, Tandy. It's all right. Two on one. Come on, boys. This is it. This is it. There we go. Yeah. Beautiful. 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 What do you say, Orange? What do you say? All right. Watch it out. He's dangerous. And he's jacked. And he's handsome. Probably got a fucking hammer too. Grinelli had the game of the fucking tournament. Grinelli showed up huge. Came with a big effort. That was huge for us. We had a we had a point to prove. Oh, metal, no, metal. No, no, no. Bang! There we go. Oh, there we go, boys. Right back in it. One goal game. One goal game, boys. You guys are showing grit. I love it. Let's keep keep it up. Holy fucking! Oh! 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 Fucking Boston cherry pickers, fucking Jesus Christ. Big time players make big time plays. So that was me that day. Had a stretch pass to Grinnell, and then he returned the favor. He had a perfect pass through three defensemen, about 100, 120 feet, right on my tape. Walked in, snipe right under the bar. Felt great, and that ended up being the difference in the game. Come on, get a number on him. Boys, Ari is shitting himself uh, over there. Like, Ari is not on, happy boys, right down now. Two. Only down two. Still in this, we're still in this, boys. Plenty of time. Yep. Gotta get some shots. Look up. Two on one, two on one three on one. Come on, we gotta get one here. There we go. Eight six. Right, Way to go, baby. Way to go. That's it, boys. Only down a goal. Only down a goal. They were really pushing. They, you know, same as us. They didn't want to finish the tournament 0 4. Come on, let's catch him sleeping. Let's catch him sleeping here. Wheel, wheel, wheel. That's it, right there. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go, boys. They got 17 fucking guys in the bench and they're tied with us. Come on, boys, let's get this. There you go, there you go, come on. Ah, shit. Fucking Grinelli. Ah, shit. 
Good job. Hey, Fucking offsides. Right there, RA! What happened? What, what'd he say? You little fucking shit. You're fired. Come on, G. One more, baby. Oh, penalty shot! Penalty shot! Hey, they caught a penalty. Are you shitting me? Are you kidding me? Oh, are you shitting me? A one goal game? I'm calling a penalty shot on a fucking stick. Are you shitting me? Mikey Grinelli calling up my tournament, and I tell the, the refs what the rules are. All of a sudden, the guy who tells the refs what to do gets a fucking penalty shot with a minute left in the game, but a one goal game, they call a penalty shot. Did we have the refs on our side? Some would say yes. I, I will neither confirm nor deny that. On a ticky tack, you didn't even catch him in the hands. Stick on stick, bullshit. Fucking, hey! I mean, yeah. joke. Eat it, R.A. Of course he does it when I'm not looking. He scores the hat trick and he takes his hat off his head and throws it at R.A. It was one of the funniest moments of the entire tournament. It just resonated with how we felt about this guy. I mean, he's just the worst coach of all time. Come on, boy. Have it, have it, have it. Ah, that's it. Yeah. There we go, boys. Come on now. Right back at it. Right back at it. Right back at it. Come on now. Right back at it. I give the team a two goal lead, minute left, and I'm thinking we're good, right? I go to the bench, I'm like, you know, let's let, let's let Avery get out there, you know? Let's let him get his time, get a couple pictures for his parents. Maybe he'll, he'll get a backdoor assist or something. And they blow it. We almost blew it. We almost lost that game when they pulled their goalie. They got a quick goal and then we tossed it right away. Someone tried to ice it. Next thing you know, there's another shot at the end. It's like, fuck boy, that's too much pressure. Come on. Come on, dude. Have it! Ah, shit. Let it fly! Let him just shoot! Just shoot! Oh my god. Oh, fucking selfish fuck. Oh, damn it. There we go. It was an embarrassing final minute of the game, and you'll see some repercussions from that. You gotta go hard to the end, and I think we'll see Avery on waivers going forward. Good call, man. Good call. call. Seven screen. Great, great game out there. Right. Absolutely, boys. No, it's safe. Daily, daily, good job, buddy. Merrells, Merrells, Merrells. Oh, you played it? Yeah, yeah, you played. Good game, boy. Johnny, so what's your spectrum? That's what sell you. Chief, what's up? Good job, buddy. Good job, congratulations. Good game, buddy. Good job, Dallas. Good job, Brady. Good job, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, no, Jimmy, it's like, no, it's not like you're doing the thing with the dog. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah R.A. was, you know, doing the crazy talk in my ear. He said a few things. I actually had no idea what he was saying. I just nodded my head along just to give him the okay so he'd get away from me. Uh, breath smelled terrible. It was a personal big victory for the boys just to, like, really, really ruin R.A.'s day. And it was, like, our private little one-game championship, and we won. So, Big Sally afterwards, and I hope R.A. is crying somewhere right now. They beat me today because they got a penalty shot for the guy who, again, tells the refs how to make the rolls, so make of it what you will. Really, what the story should be about is that we got fucking wasted the night before. Everyone showed up on time for the next game, and we buried a bunch of goals, so like, really just a super heroic performance from start to finish. To sum everything up, it was amazing, man. It was just a first-class event. It's so cool. I mean, the venue was incredible. If they call me, I'll be here. I don't know how they keep doing it. Each one keeps getting better, so I can only imagine what the next one will be like. It was awesome. Everyone there was very about hockey. It was, it was a cool kind of celebration of the sport. Daddy and his boy need to show up to the next one. We need to make sure that we're right, that our roster's set, that the coach has good vibes, that the coach wants us to win, and that's my daddy. He's gonna make sure I get the puck and I'm scoring next one. We'll be looking to do some trades. Um, we're gonna hit free agency pretty hard this year. And uh, we're gonna hit the ground running for the next tournament because this roster will not look the same. We're looking at a whole new roster for the next tournament. We'll see you in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. We'll see you in Florida on the next one, boys. Peace.